Aloha and welcome. Let's talk about the new moon for Thursday, July 28th, 2022. So this new moon is, well, as with any new moon, is a new emotional start. And this particular new moon, the energies that are lower expression, the ones that kind of are ones that we need to bring to a higher vibration, uh, they can be more of uh, like a self-centered energy or wanting to make things go your way or be your way. Um, whereas the higher expression is more confidence and leadership and being able to step out there um, in a in a particular path. So the question that I would ask you is what new way do you want to shine your light? This is a fantastic moon for that, if done in a humble way and from your heart. So you you might want to you might want others to listen to what you have to say, and yet at, during this new moon they also want you to listen to them. And so it's actually important to recognize the uh, the relationship aspect between what it is that you want to say and and what do they want to say, and and looking at your true intentions behind the things that you're sharing. So I'm sharing this with you to help you. I'm sharing this with you so you can go put it on your path. So um, if anything comes up during this uh, time around reputation or territory, uh, those are things th that uh, people will most likely want to um, protect, so to speak. Um, and so probably best to avoid those types of things. Uh, you definitely want to avoid drama and really choose your intuition. Um, there's no point in getting into debates over certain things during these types of, of new moons. It's, it's figuring out what, what it is for you. What is your, your truth, your confidence, your, your expression, and then being able, um, to stand in that. It doesn't even necessarily mean having to share it. It means it's like, are you able to, to stand in it? During this time, uh, Saturn is still at the bending of the nodes. And so there's a responsibility and a work and a dedication to move forward. Uh, Saturn is uh, retrograde for a bit longer. And so you're going to want to review in the side the lessons that help you create that foundation for your future. So Uranus is also involved, um, and you know Uranus is a—it's the great awakener, and with Uranus can bring sudden change. It can basically awaken out of nowhere, um, and so you have to go with the flow with Uranian energy uh, because it literally can seem like it comes out of nowhere. But it is—it is the great awakener. It is bringing uh, new insight, new perspective, loosening up uh, grips on older. Um, either realities or patterns or things like that. Uh, Mars and Mercury are in play during this time. So communication, ideas, taking action on your goals, um, ener uh, energy, just you know, regular energy in general, um, all in play. And, and with Mars coming along with Uranus, um, the change that Uranus brings could actually be accelerated. Um, so, I mean, Mars likes action, Uranus likes change, and so you put those two together, you know, it could be pretty, pretty even faster than how Uranus would, would normally be. So, quite interesting. Uh, Jupiter starts its retrograde period on the 28th, so the same day as this uh, new moon goes to about the end of November. And so during that time, so really beginning this week through the end of November, we'll be reviewing our worldly beliefs and our personal inner truth. Um, I suspect as a result that the things that Uranus will bring to help us awaken are both going to be um, personal things and then also uh, societal and worldly um, given uh, the Jupiter retrograde. So it's interesting uh, because it's, it's how we believe and what our truth is about the bigger picture ideas. Okay, so not necessarily what they are or they aren't, but really what our truth is on it. Where do we stand on things? So a shifting in perspective, a shifting in um, reality, inner reality and inner truth. On August 3rd, um, Mercury will change uh, sign be for about uh, for just under a month. 
and um, that can actually help to bring order into some new information, uh, of course. And so while we would already have been in the beginning of uh, the Jupiter retrograde, um, this can help us to be a little bit more factual and to do our analysis. Where Mercury is going, it actually can help us um, with with doing analysis, analyzing facts, looking at data. Uh, and so if you think about then putting that together with the Jupiter retrograde, we could be looking at data that applies to what makes up our worldly beliefs, right? I mean, and, and maybe there's a sense of um, awakening that comes with that or a new perspective, or maybe it just helps us see the perspective of others. Uh, and it helps us become aware of what other perspectives may be on things. So, I mean, during this time, really come from your heart, um, tap into the confidence of the new moon to go with the changes and to have faith that it's for the greater good. If you're, if you're um, circling through or cycling through uh, things that may appear like they're from the past or whatnot, it's all to help prepare, prepare propel you forward and just have faith that, it, that these things are for the greater good of you and others and society as a whole. Okay, so the individual, the relationship and society and world. So really that's what this new moon's about. And um, if you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and like to see more like it, please subscribe. And if you'd like a a reading to go over how this directly applies into your life and the things that you're navigating. Uh, take a look at the description below and you can schedule that there. And with that, aloha, ahui ho. I'll talk with you again soon. Take care now.